Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank all of you to come back to this room to talk about this global tech issues. Yesterday on this stage, we have many colorful discussions, and these discussions will be continued today. We will have uh, six contestants today. So before we formally start the competition, please allow me to introduce you the rule of this competition. This competition are classified into four units. Each unit have uh, three contestants. Each contestant have uh, four minutes to present. The judges, after presentation, will air a comment and uh, ask uh, questions. The contestants shall answer. This period, the QWK period is also four minutes. And also, after the three presentation, the judge and the audience shall vote together. Now, we would like to thank our presenting partner, JAC, because for each of uh, the unit winner, JAC shall give you a new car of uh, JAC. Let's give a big applaud to JAC. Thank you very much. And the winning company list shall be disclosed at the closing ceremony this afternoon. Now we go to the third group of this competition about biotech and healthcare. First, I would like to give the floor to our judges. They are Leaf, uh, Cliff, Clifton Leaf, Fortune Magazine. And also we have with us Li Hong, General Manager, Guangzhou Baiyunshan Pharmaceutical Holdings Company Limited. And also we have uh, Madam Simon Song, Senior Partner, ORI Healthcare Fund. Now we would like to invite onto the stage our contestants. The first contestant is from Shuken Technology Vice President, Mr. Liu Jian. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm from Shukun Technology. Today I will present you about AI and medical services. AI is a developing new industry, while medical services is an old industry, traditional industry. The combina combination of these two is AI medicine. So most of you have an optimistic view about AI. Well, U.S. consultancy firm forecasted that in 2018, the global AI value uh, will reach 1.2 trillion U.S. dollar, and the total market value in this area, in this medicine area, will be 3.9 trillion U.S. dollar. And uh, medical AI developed fastly in China because of a political, economic, social, and technical support. It's just like a seed getting sun, air, soil, and everything necessary for it to grow. That's why in 2015 to 2018, in this past several years, medicine related, medical related AI are developing very fast, focusing on um, land nodule, and also, but we choose cardiovascular disease to target because uh, cardiovascular disease are, are frequently happening disease, and uh, that's why Shukun Technology focus on cardiovascular disease. There is no model for us uh, to follow in the world. That, uh, that's why we overcome many difficulties to come up uh, with uh, the first uh, AI solution for cardiovascular disease. Maybe AI now can already understand the pulmonary nodules 
But now we are inviting the AI to look at our heart. After CT scan, AI will look at the images to construct three-dimensional images to make a diagnosis of your coronary uh, disease to make a decision about whether uh, there are some narrowness within your artery. And uh, the, also, the doctor will see a conclusion from AI. And this kind of uh, reconstruction system enables the diagnosis uh, to shorten from one hour to one minute. And so, uh, so the doctors give it a name. Take a photo, then you get the decision. So we use this uh, uh, algorithm to other artery and to other a altar of uh, the body to lung to brain and uh, to other parts of uh, the body. In this way, we can help the clinical doctor to make better decisions and to give them uh, easy diagnosis, to make the medical diagnosis uh, faster, pre more precise. So Shukun technology wants to enable AI medicine to be everywhere. Now you can ask a question. that you have several partnerships with hospitals, but I haven't been able to find any published data in the medical literature. Have you published any clinical trial data on your technology? Okay. So the second question is that how many CT photos are required for your machine to make a judgment? Just now you say, you say city photos are needed. How many city photos are needed? We believe that AR uh, application in imaging is low-hanging fruits. It means that you will have a lot of competition in this area. So your solution is based on CT images. As uh, solutions based on MRI, what are your advantage? Please answer. Uh, thank you for your questions. Uh, the first question about clinical data on clinical literature, because our company was new, established in 2017. Very soon on RCA, we will have we will issue a paper presented orally, and we also have a multi-center research with many hospitals. Actually, with 30 hospitals already, we plan for next year. Our uh, origin, we will issue an uh, article. We are planning an uh, international multi center with participation from Netherlands, US, UK, and China. So we hope that more paper will be issued later in famous uh, medical literature in future. Second, uh, how many photos uh, are needed for making judgment? And Actually, we need uh, 10,000 uh, human images for the machine to learn. Uh, for, ten, for the machine to learn, it has to 10,000 uh, images uh, from uh, 10,000 patients from different hospitals. The third uh, is about advantage of us as compared to MRA-based uh, diagnosis. Well, CT. Uh, is very good at uh, looking coronary artery, while MRI is good at looking heart and uh, heart function related artery. On CT, uh, CT has an advantage on looking coronary artery within several seconds. Uh, it can finish uh, the scanning. Uh, but the bottleneck is about post processing. We are looking at uh, the whole process uh, lasting 40 minutes to one hour. Our work is to shorten the post-processing uh, after imaging. Just now you're talking about multi-center hospitals. 
uh, are they investigation trial or FDA related trial because they are already FDA approved the solution in US already and for this multi center research uh, we are looking at WHO registration this is uh, investigation based uh, uh, but we are also looking at uh, safety uh, to China federal drug administration's uh, uh, approval very soon. So we are applying data with uh, uh, China's uh, uh, China's uh, drug administration already. Yesterday we approach we we approach and communicate with the CFDA already. Today we are prom providing documents to CFDA, and they will do clinical trial. We are starting a clinical trial. Thank you, Mr. Liu. Also, uh, my thanks goes to the judges for your questions. Our second uh, contestant is uh, from uh, Top Jian, co-founder and president of uh, Top Jian, Mr. Sun Gao. Thank you for giving me time to listen to my presentation. In recent two days, uh, uh, moments of uh, uh, WeChat, uh, there is a uh, big news. Uh, that is, uh, FDA approved uh, a new drug which can solve 75% uh, of the tumor. Many of my friends wants to uh, find evidence with me. Yes, this is reliable information. This piece of information gives us uh, two information. So because this is a gene-based uh, diagnosis uh, based on molecular diagnosis, uh, because a top gene Five years ago, uh, we are looking at uh, molecular diagnosis. We were established in Guangzhou. We look at uh, uh, breast cancer and ovarian cancer. Uh, China has a large population, and also we have uh, a lot of uh, gynecology, oncology. So the survival rate and the treatment rate was very low in US, in Europe, for breast cancer, ovarian cancer. Uh, actually, uh, these cancers were on the clinical guidance already, and we are setting up uh, data for Chinese patients as well for ovarian answer. And if data can be provided uh, to those doctors, uh, better uh, treatment uh, can be proved. So for us, for breast cancer and ovarian cancer, we hope that in China we can create our own brand for molecular diagnosis. In the past five years, we have made a lot of achievements, especially our ovarian cancer. And we are the largest database for Chinese population based breast cancer uh, mutation data. And our laboratory have uh, a lot of uh, certificates already. So in the past uh, several years, uh, that, that we have uh, done in the past years, we have accumulated data for 100,000 uh, Chinese patients. And also, we are re-educating Chinese doctors. In the past five years, we organized many sections uh, to train about uh, 1 million doctors uh, to enable to them to understand molecular diagnosis. Top gene, we are not only providing molecular bi uh, di diagnosis, we are a uh, closed loop. Uh, we have uh, medications, we have online patient management, online physician management uh, platforms. We are covering the entire value chain of the industry in our, with our services. Uh, uh, some words about our uh, finance. I'm, I'm more focused on market share. It is expected uh, that our sales is going to top 100 million RMB yuan. But for oncology, you know, the, the number of patients is so big in China. 100 million is nothing. Uh, we're more focused on uh, market share. And for uh, gynecology, uh, oncology, every year we're only serving 20,000 uh, patients. So it's quite low uh, market share with a lot of potential uh, to grow. And uh, we have uh, very solid uh, uh, values. For every product uh, we uh, uh, produce, we're going to use them uh, someday. And we want to enable most people to live up to 120 years of age. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now it's time for questions. Mr. Leaf, please. 
So the two major breast cancer susceptibility genes, BRCA1 and BRCA2, are quite large. And, and are you able to determine where there are specific mutations and what types of mutations might impart more risk for breast versus ovarian cancer, which is a very difficult challenge? 好,李先生。我想了解就是你们公司的话, yeah, uh, well, your company, it, are your company focused on platform services or diagnosis technologies? I have two questions. Uh, the first question is about uh, uh, um, um, uh, bioptics and uh, uh, f uh, for the, if you have a, a small uh, panel uh, testing, how can you be a price competitive? And uh, second, for CKDNA uh, liquid uh, testing, if you require a big uh, panel, uh, potentially uh, you need to have uh, thousands uh, of our um, objects. Can, uh, are you able to integrate all of them into one tube of blood? Let me address the second question first. We're focused on diagnosis. Uh, for the, to address the uh, first question, uh, we have identified uh, some mutation uh, data specific uh, to the Chinese population. Ch Chinese people are going to publish them very soon. And uh, for the third question, whether it's small panel or big panel, it depends on tumor. It's uh, a tumor specific. And uh, uh, now we're uh, working with the basic uh, uh, guideline uh, for uh, physicians. But then uh, for mutation uh, study, we need a uh, big panel. Operationally uh, speaking, we are uh, uh, focused uh, on uh, the blood instead of uh, tissues. Uh, for uh, liquid uh, 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 live tissue uh, testing, uh, what's your accuracy? For yeah, for liquid biopsy, how accurate it is? Well, in the case of uh, lung uh, cancer, the uh, pathology is the same. Uh, but for uh, TC90 and EGFR, uh, well, I, I think uh, our technology can replace the pathology, but it's still tissue-based. But what about liquid biopsy? How accurate is it? Uh, contrast in in contrast to uh, tissue, right? Well, for liquid biopsy, in the case of, uh, yeah, our, our positive accuracy is over 80%. But uh, the clinical standard is 90% at least uh, for positive accuracy. Yes, you, you are correct. You're right. Of, of having even 90% accuracy, is that that's 99%. Not, oh, 99%. <laughs> it needs to be 99%. It has to be 99%. <laughs> or high. Yeah. Um, my one last question is, are you doing too much? Um, you know, you're a diagnostic company, but you're also following patients and providing drugs. Is that a lot to do for a startup? Well, uh, we're still focused on diagnosis. We're providing some after-sales services. We're calling it a closed loop uh, while we are investing most of our efforts on diagnosis. Uh, are you using uh, multiple PCR or uh, uh, hybrid uh, uh, capture, uh, NGS, uh, based on uh, hybrid capture, uh, multiple uh, PCR, uh, the hybrid capture? Any additions? No. Thank you. Thank you very much. The round of applause. Uh, let's uh, invite him uh, back to his seat. Uh, uh, Please be reminded, uh, be good at time management. Now we're inviting the last contestant uh, from uh, Huying Medical Technology, uh, Mr. Wang Jie, Senior Partner Vice President. Uh, good morning. I'm from uh, uh, Huying Medical Technology. We are dedicated to applying AI to uh, uh, medical uh, imagery. Uh, we have around 200 employees. 60% uh, of them are research and development. Many of them have returned from uh, uh, famous international uh, universities and uh, uh, device manufacturers such as uh, GPS. Uh, in terms of uh, commercialization of our capabilities, we're working with 800 plus uh, tertiary uh, or top level hospitals uh, with product and research development. And uh, we are globalizing our operations. We have had uh, over 50 uh, overseas uh, customers uh, so far. In terms of financing and funding, uh, we have received uh, funding from Intel Capital and uh, a Beijing-based uh, Xindong Neng Investment Fund. 
Now, let me talk about our product line. Uh, it's our belief that AI uh, can be used in medical imagery uh, in four stages. Traditionally, we are having uh, AI plus CAD uh, based on experience. Uh, now, we are having uh, AI 1.0 for uh, smart screening. Uh, in the future, we're going to AI 2.0 with smart decision making, and AI 3.0 will feature a complete chain of uh, uh, smart diagnosis and treatment. Now we're evolving from AI 1.0 to 2.0 in the transition stage. For AI 1.0 product line, we have had three mature products, uh, one for uh, pulmonary uh, nodules and uh, lung tumors, and second, uh, uh, second one is uh, uh, for uh, the uh, wet lung and the pneumococcal uh, uh, neosis. And uh, uh, the accuracy is above 90 percent, and the hospitals have well accepted uh, those products. But we're more focused on AI 2.0. We have two mature products uh, covering AI 2.0 capabilities. Uh, one is in partnership with PLA uh, 301 uh, Hospital, uh, focusing on type B, a dissection of uh, aorta and uh, breast cancer. Uh, the other uh, product is co-developed with uh, Intel, focusing on the entire uh, life cycle of uh, breast cancer. The AI 2.0 products are uh, superior in that they are integrating uh, screening, uh, diagnosis, uh, uh, treatment, and uh, uh, management into one end-to-end uh, -end, uh, uh, solution. Based on our uh, research cooperation with many uh, hospitals, we have a great pipeline of uh, projects and technologies uh, based on our data, preliminary R&D, and the pipeline, we are quite uh, confident that going forward within the next years, uh, we will be able to uh, roll out uh, four AI 2.0 clinical decision-making uh, products. With a short video, I want to give you a more detailed introduction to our AI 2.0 product line. That is about uh, the research uh, history of our AI 2.0 uh, product in partnership with uh, PLA Hospital 301, leveraging AI uh, deep learning to help plan uh, surgery targeting uh, type B uh, aortic uh, dissection. So in this way, we can precisely uh, uh, predict and uh, diagnose uh, aortic uh, dissection. Um, it's as accurate as uh, within a range of uh, 1.5 millimeters. Time is up. Thank you. Please ask your question, Ms. Leaf. Um, so you mentioned the 90% accuracy with the lung cancer nodules. Um, can you please talk about how big the training set, the, the testing set was, and also can you break down the difference between false positive readings and false negatives? In 800 hospitals around the country, uh, you have had a cooperation uh, for diagnostic research. But are they uh, level three tertiary hospitals or other types of hospitals? And clinically uh, speaking, uh, how many uh, cases have you studied? Madam Sung, as you have said, you want to expand international, uh, expand internationally. However, uh, but for example, in the United States, who are your competitors? Who are your top three competitors in the U.S. market? Please answer those questions. First, let me address the second question first. I think out of the 800 hospitals, 200 of them are level three tertiary uh, hospitals, but some of them are also community hospitals. For AI to take root in China, in the healthcare in China, uh, uh, the biggest demand comes uh, from community hospitals. Uh, for the R&D of our uh, products, we also need the help uh, from level three uh, tertiary uh, hospitals. So we need uh, both uh, segments of hospitals, level three tertiary ones and the community uh, hospitals, 200 of them 
them are top level ones and many of the others are community uh, hospitals. For the community hospitals, we're focused on applications. Uh, for the uh, top hospitals, we're focused on research. For our competitors, Hotflow is one of our uh, top competitors uh, because they have rolled out the first FDA-approved uh, screening product, uh, artery, uh, yeah, called artery. The, yeah, the, well, um, name, name of the product is artery uh, for uh, cardiovascular screening. And uh, for our product uh, uh, strategy, uh, we want to learn the example of uh, artery. We want to work with hot flow. Um, in, in addition to cardiovascular or the vas vascular systems, we're also focused on uh, yeah, yeah, the two main areas, oncology and the vascular uh, uh, diseases to address the uh, first question, talking about uh, our data set or the training set. Well, well, I think uh, uh, we are working with uh, public data set uh, as well, publicly available data set as well. And uh, we are, our performance is uh, above uh, uh, average, but uh, it takes uh, validation and uh, proof hospital by uh, hospital. Uh, therefore, we need uh, local hospital from uh, data from the hospitals uh, for uh, comparative uh, studies for uh, any product uh, uh, from ours. We're working with first with public data set. Uh, if uh, that's not available, uh, we will uh, extract a lot of uh, data. Po uh, uh, false positive and uh, false negative, uh, the rates, the percentages. Well, uh, then we uh, we need we want to be very cautious talking about that in working with the hospitals and in the testing uh, procedures we want to uh learn the real results of the uh, hospitals and also we have uh, some of our uh, we, we have close partnership with uh, physicians and we uh, need to uh, corroborate uh, our ai uh, results with our physician diagnosis so this is a training process yeah it's a training process then in uh, China, uh, how long ha have you been uh, testing your solutions and how many cases uh, in your clinical studies? Another source of uh, uh, another uh, major set of resources is our data set. After three years of uh, development, uh, we have uh, over 400,000 uh, copies of uh, uh, data uh, which are invaluable uh, assets and our competitive advantage. Uh, we have been around uh, for the past three years, and we have had a lot of uh, cooperation uh, with uh, hospitals uh, for uh, research. Well, time is up. Thank you.